Good afternoon, collective. How are you today? Happy Sunday. Um, I am coming to you because I got a very strong message when I was shuffling through my deck study. I wanted to share that with you. So, um, first off, I've got, um, I just want you guys to know that uh, I pray for you guys all and, and myself included and during this holiday season. So I just pray that you're blessed and protected. I know that we are all divinely guided and protected. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Thank you, Lord. And I, I just pray uh, that you guide me to give this message today. So let's do this. Um, so yes, firstly, let's get back on track. I, I was pulling from and shuffling through, you know, three or four of my decks not too long ago. And the same reoccurring cards kept coming up, which is... You know, you always want to pay attention to that when that kind of happens. So I kept getting this uh, sort of this energy of a two of swords. Um, well, first I, I, would, I got the three of cups then the two of swords and then the uh, chariot, wheel of fortune, and then uh, the hierophant, which in three out of the four decks that I was shuffling, uh, doing sort of a, a pre pre pool for my reading those cards came out in the first five five draws so i basically believe that um yeah it's it's kind of saying that during this uh, holiday season if not now then in the soon to come future um or maybe you just went through this there's gonna be a uh, something's gonna come out and i believe that you know, a lot of you guys are going to find out something, a secret or something that has to do with um, either third party. I got kind of like a third party vibe or it, I don't think it's current third party vibe. I think it's something that you're going to find out that happened in the past. Um, but it's going to really bring a lot of things to light for you. Um, I feel like the overall message is that um you knew i really got that um you knew the uh the high priestess came up on a couple uh in a couple of the the decks as well so i i, I think that intuitive knowing was there um yeah so that sort of is i, I believe that that's about ready to be revealed if it hasn't already um i'm gonna pull some cards so i got that that vibe of a uh, yeah third party and or something happened maybe one of your maybe your current person got a message um or got an, a job offer possibly or you did um and maybe it could be them the energies can be reversed here but i had a feeling that um it's something that you thought was happening and the person probably denied and uh out of those cars i got a very strong uh, fire fire element there and or water sign so we've got Leo Sagittarius um or strong Leo Sagittarius Aries not so strong but Leo Sagittarius vibe and then uh you've got your Pisces your Cancer and your Scorpio heavy on the Scorpio and Pisces yeah. excuse me I also got um Gemini and Aquarius uh Aquarius Aquarius was coming up in the uh, third party position, so was Pisces, oddly. So in this first card, uh, I wanted to clarify those the pre-shuffle, just kind of do a quick little pull, and this is the lover. So the lover is the Gemini card, and this one it's very, uh, what's really standing out to me today is that in this card you can see how the two people here and here above their head is sort of like a halo it's illuminated and um if you are in a twin flame journey or if you have sort of that telepathy thing going on with your with your partner i really think that this is saying um in conjunction with the pulls that i've done it's sort of saying that you know there's this thing that's been be between you and you both knew it was hidden though because you you kind of see how this person's head is turned down this one knew though i think that that she knew um, the 
This is the Muse deck by Claire Stan, in case you wanted to know. I clarified the lovers with the Queen of Pentacles, so she came up in my last reading quite a bit. Um, what that says to me is like you're either somebody who is the main breadwinner, so to speak, or you just know what you want and you're on your game, you're hustling, you're doing your thing. Um, it, this, it, in her stance, she kind of looks very um, sort of like I told you so energy. <laughs> Can you see? I don't know if you can tell, but in in this read, it's very much like she knew what was going on. Um, I think that maybe supporting this Queen of uh, Materials, which is the Queen of Pentacles, she is secure. She's strong, and because the Chariot came after the Two of Swords um, in my pre-shuffle, I believe what that's saying in my what I feel intuitively is that after you make that split because when you find out when you find out when the secrets reveal this it's gonna be pretty big um pretty big and it's gonna cause sort of a tower moment in your life and you're gonna be faced with a choice i mean we all have free will right so i think you're gonna have to say like okay look i knew what was going on and they're probably gonna deny it you know how they do gonna deny it and uh, if they don't come out right and say it actually oddly enough because the cards were so strong, I have a feeling that they maybe just break and they kind of tell you. Um, I don't know what comes over them, but you find out somehow, some way, God intervenes and you find out um, it's going to happen soon and you're not going to like it. It may not be something that makes or breaks you, obviously, because I think that you knew it. Obviously, you knew it all along, but because they denied it and or just didn't say anything, knowing how important it was to you, I think that... Um, I really get this energy that you're just going to be able to cut cut ties with this person. Um, it might not be that easy to do, but um, you're definitely going to, there's a chariot that's going to come. So either they're leaving or you're leaving or both. Who knows? Maybe it's a, they go to jail and, you know, do not pass go, do not collect $200 type of monopoly situation. Um, yeah, because uh, this is, this was in following up with the, the chariot and the the three of cups the two of swords and the chariot in the pre-shuffle the lovers was following that so that's heavy gemini energy queen of materials is earth earth energy um capricorn i feel like strong capricorn in this only because of her stance it almost reminds me of the bull or the with the horns and the, the capricorn you know very stubborn like she knows what she's doing and always knows best you know I also get this as your energy. Next, I've got the uh, Nine of Wands, the Nine of Inspiration. I love this card. It's one of my favorite cards in the deck. Usually like my yes card. She reminds me of a high priestess. This is the, you know, traditional wounded warrior, but she does not look at all like a warrior. She looks like a beautiful, she's just a goddess in my opinion. Um, what I really find interesting here is how these two cards in this one, you've got the uh, the two people, you know, separate, but the two sides there, that duality, lovers, the Gemini. And in this card, even though it's heavy fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you've got these two, those are kind of like horns almost, but it's got this connecting sort of lights here. And I feel like coming, she's like coming out of the dark sort of thing. She looks like she's ready to is it, this reminds me of a Queen of Wands, actually, but we just, you know, heavy fire, uh, Leo energy, Aries. Um, it's almost like there's this connection here, this twin flame sort of um, telepathic connection here. But these two, I guess, beings, entities are sort of like turned to stone. And... Um, this wounded warrior, if you want to call her that, is focused and strong, and I feel like she's almost emerging from this situation. Let's see, you see all this, like, this uh, sort of molten, a uh, hot, fiery mess back there that's like the past, like all that stress, and it kind of reminds me of like a finish line. She's through that. She's walked through it, and she's victorious, obviously, with that beautiful dress. Love it. Um, Yeah. And it it feels like a completion energy, like she's there, she has arrived, you know, this, this uh, 
this line of inspiration is inspired and she has arrived. Uh, next I get the uh, the six of inspiration, which is the six of wands. Um, this is in reverse. I don't usually do reversals, but I kind of feel like this is, it, this has always been like, a, this kind of feels like an empress energy. I don't know if you can see. And also the star energy, just because of the star and whatnot. Empress, because she seems to be, this card, she looks sort of pregnant. Um, but I think this is with ideas. She really looks like she's center stage. Um, and if you look at this, this sort of energy here, this coming through that and sort of this, this energy here with the um sort of the circular thing in the reverse back here i feel like this is somebody who is again fire fire energy um very aries leo sagittarius i'm feeling a lot of leo and sagittarius here um this is the challenge position in this reading which is kind of the being in reverse, it's kind of somebody who, um, I feel like you may be covering your, or hiding rather, your light, um, something that needs to be center stage and taking, taking precedence at this point in time in your journey, or actually after, if it hasn't happened yet, then after you, um, find the things out that you're going to find out very soon, I'm feeling like right this full moon in Gemini, last moon of the year, um, things are coming to light, so it's kind of a big deal. I think that this whole situation is like needing, once it comes out, your challenge is going to be to not cover your your lights up, your your talent, your the things that you've been putting off that you know you need to do. Let's clarify that. Oh. Temperance. You need to be patient with yourself. I think, again, with the duality here, I just get a heavy Gemini vibe. Um, Gemini and fire here. So air and fire, air signs, air signs, and fire signs. Um, Gemini vibes through the beginning from the lovers to this, just all the duality in this deck. Um, you've got this uh, temperance card, which basically just says, you know, be patient, um, watch. As you kind of see, this is like a moon. These are like moon phases here. I don't know if you can tell. They look like moon phases to me. And um, with the sun up here, I feel like that's like Leo energy in the background with the sun. Sort of that illuminating factor. But being patient with yourself, I think, more than anything. If you look at this uh, six of inspiration with these like light orbs around and in here. We've got these orbs again with the moon and you kind of have that, you know, let your light shine. You may have to be patient and sort of go within, kind of really process this information. It's like a light bulb moment happening here. Like, I think it's going to come to you, so don't worry. Um, Yeah, because the next card is the moon in reverse. The moon, um, obviously things that were hidden are now seen. Um, I think you're going to get a lot of clarity if you just take that time and you let yourself sort of process through all the things that you knew were happening that maybe you denied to yourself. Um, but, you know, you're going to be okay. This whole thing is like very much think you're going to be okay. Um, you've got that sort of everything's come to light. I wasn't planning on actually doing this reading with this deck entirely, but you know, whatever happens, happens, I guess. You've got the star. The star is the next card. It's number 17 um, is the star. Heavy Leo energy, um, fame, fortune, sort of wish fulfillment, uh, wishes that maybe you, you dreamed about, kind of that, like, Maybe you only dreamed about or thought about, you projected out, you were trying to manifest. This is happening. You've got the whole world in your hands is what that comes up to me here. Got the whole world in your hands. So right here, she's kind of holding on to this light. Really feels like that. And then it's sort of like exploding about around her, right? So that's kind of a, this is one of my favorite cards in this deck. It's a beautiful card. 
beautiful imagery. Um, very inspirational. Definitely adequately named as the muse. Um, this coming to fruition. This um, the things that you deeply desired. Those things that you held deep in your heart and wished upon a star to get. Um, and next card. <laughs> classic got the world cosmos that speaks to me so it's always reminded me of like the world wide web that the world of the cosmos is a beautiful card as well angelic sort of messages there um gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i'm kind of saying that you know your wish fulfillment is going to be out there and perhaps you're supposed to do something online supposedly maybe um maybe start your own channel maybe get your you know, do a web-based business and opening up to new businesses and, um, yeah, sorry about that. I got cut off there for a minute. Um, yeah, this uh, is sort of like spreading your wings and flying this angelic sort of go out into the world and set forth and, you know, have the adventure of a lifetime, if you will. Uh, yeah, it's very funny, actually. I feel a uh, travel and maybe some of you guys are gonna get your sexy back. Look at those uh, those underwear, those briefs. <laughs> They're kind of like 1950s old lady swimsuit, but that's I don't know. They also look kind of like fishnets, so I, I don't kind of got that that vibe off of them. It's very interesting, but the definitely the spread your wings and flying, go going into the world. This is just a very beautiful card. Ugh. Some of these cards, I don't know if you guys feel like that, but some of these times I when I'm opening a new deck or looking at the artistry I just my gosh I want to blow that picture up and and just you know frame it it's so gorgeous so so gorgeous so I'm gonna pull a couple more cards to you I think that just wanted you to know overall that you know what you knew and what you have known in your heart that's been hidden whether it's a third party person or a sort of an offer or circumstance with your partner um you were right you're right and that's going to be coming out very very soon okay i'm pulling now from the um this is the oracle of mystical moments deck i got the eva card which is the devil card in reverse number 16 um i think that this kind of speaks of maybe like you know breaking codependent relationships possibly you were in a very toxic relationship um but it's in reverse and I, I know I said I don't normally read reversals but today I'm feeling like I should so hey <laughs> something new all the time right I get bored and I feel like um yeah just being walking away because uh, your next card the moon dance card really a lot of this sort of white bright twinkle light energy with this these like shining orbs here um same with these other decks you've got a lot of like circular a circular sort of stuff happening here um a lot of moon and I think in this case it kind of shows this person sort of learning the truth which I get from here like sort of the moon energy also but it's also got it's kind of like a star and moon energy combo as somebody who's kind of like like walking a fine line like you know walking on tightrope sort of but being taken away by the truth um learning the truth and being sort of floating floating on past all of this stuff this kind of represents to me sort of the trials and tribulations that you've been going through and this sort of the star energy because of the lights here just kind of being taken away into you know, once you learn the truth, you're gonna you're gonna float away into a new new uh new space and new dream or wish fulfillment. So I'm gonna pull one more card and then I'm gonna wrap it up because it, it's just a brief message, like I said. Ah, uh, you've got this. This energy came up. The lullaby. The lullaby card. I love this card also. Oh, I see. He's got this cello. In his cello, you can kind of see that moon again with the with the moon energy. So sort of this blue, it's it's very peaceful. Usually these colors um, more are water for me, but it's a very peaceful, airy. So maybe you know, air sign Gemini again, Aquarius, 
um, and Libra, and maybe some do plays a string instrument, cello, violin, viola, possibly. He's got that strange bow grip there. It's kind of odd. This card reminds me of a King of Cups, so I'm feeling like Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Um, and because of the moon, the secrets, I, I kind of feel Scorpio. I'm going to say Scorpio, what I'm vibing on. I'm going to say clarify the light back card. Clarify the light back card. <laughs> to the moon and back. All right, this is gonna be what a what a reading. Yeah, a lot of synchronicity happening. Um, this this beautiful person. This is a very this is reminds me a lot of that star card energy. Um, maybe it's the expression on the cards on their faces, kind of the looking out into into the the vast unknown, but. This is somebody who's little, this kind of, this kind of really ties it all together to me, for me, because this little bird, the birdie on your shoulder telling, telling you sort of what's been going on, um, you know, something you already knew, because you're, you're up on that moon, you're like, yeah, I already knew that, yeah, what it is, that's, that's what it is, um, almost like bored, she's got this one on her, on her finger, like, yep, yeah, just gonna sit here and rock, and, uh, it going back to this this energy, you know, going out into the world, into the these secrets, and basically being on top of all of it, and just being contemplative on what you want your next steps to be. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be coming into your own during this next season of your life, during this new new year, twenty twenty two coming up here. Or you know, the readings are timeless. However, so when you find this, it's meant to be yours at that time. Um. So go forth and prosper. I think that's a uh, <laughs> the Star Trek or something saying I'm yeah way too old and I didn't watch that during those times. But uh, yeah, have a beautiful, beautiful day. May you be blessed and follow your path in your dreams. Thank you.